If you run a local business, your rankings on Google, especially on the map, are a big deal. And I know that sometimes managing your Google business profile, online reviews, business listings, and local rankings can feel like a full-time job. Luckily, we have SEO tools to help us out, and my favorite SEO tools are with SEMrush. I use them for my websites and my client websites. And I'm very thankful that SEMrush is sponsoring this video today. And in this video, we are specifically going to be talking about SEMrush Local, their tools for local SEO. We're gonna talk about the different prices they have available, the features in those packages, and if it's a good fit for your business. SEMrush Local makes it easier to attract local customers, rank higher on Google Maps, and keep your listings consistent throughout the internet. So let's get started with, is this a good fit for you? If you have a local business, your business has a location, your customers travel to your location, and they get directions to your location through Google Maps a lot, you should be doing local SEO. And SEMrush Local will help you out with that a lot. Also, if you're busy and you wanna make your life easier and you don't wanna hop back and forth between a bunch of different tools and instead have all your marketing in one place, SEMrush Local is also gonna be really good for that. It's gonna save you a ton of time and keep your process really streamlined, especially if you're using the ultimate bundle, which we will talk about more very soon. It's also gonna be great if you're a business owner or you work for a small business and you can't afford to hire your own marketing team and you wanna DIY your marketing. There are a lot of AI tools in these packages that will help you get the job done without having to be a marketing professional. If you are a marketing professional, you probably already know that local SEO is really important and you wanna know more about this specific tool and if the pricing is right and the features are right for you to use for your clients. So let's get into that. If you click the link in my description below where it says get SEMrush local, you're gonna to come to a landing page that looks like this that explains the pricing and the features with SEMrush local a little more. So if we scroll down, the first thing we are going to talk about is the ultimate bundle, local ultimate. And this is the most expensive local plan there is, but it is clearly the best value. And it's really gonna give you the most benefits here if you're also doing social media management and paid ads for your business, because then you'll be able to manage everything all in one place at SEMrush. And you might actually be saving money depending on how much the other tools you're using cost now. So in addition to all the SEMrush local stuff, you also get their social media management tool, their web content creation tool that uses AI, and their ads management tool. So if you paid for all these services individually, you would be paying $185 a month, but when you bundle them, you're only paying $99 a month, which is a really nice savings. If you don't wanna do all that and you just wanna do local SEO on SEMrush, you're going to want either the local advanced tool, which is right here that's $60 a month, or the local essentials, which isn't on this landing page, but you can still choose, and that one is $50 a month. Both of these include everything I'm going to be going over in this video, which is Google business profile optimization, review management, listing management, and the map rank tracker. I think if you have a local business, you should at least pick the local advanced or the local essentials. Now the $10 a month difference between essentials and advanced is going to give you more credits for map tracking. It's going to give you more reports for competitor analysis, and it's gonna refresh your reviews more often. So if you have a lot of competitors, if ranking high on the map is really important for you, and if negative reviews could really hurt you, I would suggest paying the extra $10 a month to get local advanced over the local essentials. There's also another package that's not on this page, but it's also available for you called SEMrush Local Lite, and that is $30 a month. And that is basically if you only want to manage your Google business profile. Later in this video, we're going to talk about Google business profile optimization and review management, which is basically what is included in the 
light plan, though some of your features may be restricted versus the higher level plans, of course. If you think that the local ultimate bundle or the local advanced bundle is going to be the best for your business, you can click one of those buttons to get started. Or if you want to use one of the other packages, you can just click the start now button in the top right. And if you don't have a SEMrush account yet, it'll ask you to create one. But if you do already have a SEMrush account and you're signed in already, it should bring you right in there and have you choose which local package is best for you. Since I'm already signed up, it brought me to the local dashboard. And if you look on the left hand side here in this menu, these are the things in the toolkit and the same things that we are going to go over in this video. Uh, Google business profile optimization, listing management, map rank tracker and review management. So let's go ahead and click into Google business profile optimization first. Now with the Google business profile optimization section with SEMrush local, you are going to be able to manage all your business details, like your name, your address, your hours, and your contact information all from one centralized location across multiple profiles. This is great because from here you can confirm that the data is accurate and there's no inconsistencies and you can make updates like adding new photos all right here. And to do all that, SEMrush directly integrates with your Google business profile. So you're going to have to connect your business. So to do that, click this orange button here that says connect your business. Choose your Google account where your business profile is. Click continue to sign in. You're going to want to check this box that says see, edit, create, and delete your Google business listings. And then you're going to want to click continue to give those permissions. And then you're going to want to select the business profile you will be working with and then click continue. Now, if you didn't sign up for the local bundle or for the advanced bundle, you might get a selection screen like this, where you can choose between either the local light or the local essentials. So you can pick which one of them is best for you and then click continue setup. Next, we're going to get to this page where you can verify your business details. So you want to make sure your business name and your address and your phone number, website and everything's all good. Go ahead and click into business categories. Make sure that's correct. And then you can put in a description for the services your business provides. And then if your business has hours, you can put that right here. And then when you're done with all of that, you can click this distribute business info button, which is going to bring it out all this information to dozens of directories with a single click. So you can see now how this is going to be super useful because imagine if you changed your business hours and you would have to update that everywhere, like what a pain in the butt. And then I'm going to click this distribute business info button. And then we'll get to this page where it talks about AI replies, but we will talk about that later on. And then yours is going to look something like this. My location is a little difficult because I don't have an actual location, but yours should say that everything is good here. And then you can click continue. And then depending on what bundle you picked, it might say that you have all the tools available to you. And then you can click got it. And we'll just click out of this. And again, I don't have an actual location for my business. So you're going to see this better than me. You're going to see the insights and the analytics for your Google business profile right here. And whenever you want to edit your business info, you will do it right here. You'll also probably want to connect to Facebook, which you can do here as well. I'm going to close out of this. And the next thing I want to show you for this, which is really, really cool is if you click posts, you can create posts with AI here and you can publish them right away or you can schedule them for later. And this is going to be a big time saver for you and a nice energy saver for you too, because you can use AI to help you come up with the actual posts. So you don't even have to use your brain energy that much for that. Of course, you're going to want to edit AI as always, but this is going to make your life way easier. Next, let's click into listing management on the left hand side. And this is where you can automatically share your business information from your Google business profile to other directories online. 
If you're familiar with local SEO, these directory listings are often called citations and it's really important that your NAP is the same across all of your citations. That is your name, address, and phone number. And this tool makes it really, really easy to make sure everything is exactly the same across all of those directories. SEMrush, we've got 70 plus directories available to connect to. Some of those are including Facebook, Yellow Pages, Yelp, and TripAdvisor. You can also pop into this duplicates tab to make sure that there are no duplicate listings for your business. A lot of times these can be malicious and spammy, so you want to get rid of duplicates when you see them. And this is going to be a way faster and easier way than keeping track of every directory you're listed in. And then if you click this user suggestions tab, you can look at all the user suggestions edits on your listings and see if they are good or bad and you want to approve them or reject them. Next, let's click into the map rank tracker. And remember, I don't have a business location, so we can't use my business for this, but I do have a client that has a business location and they use their map ranking a lot. And he said, it's cool if I show his business on this video. So I'm going to use him right here. And that business is called the Dent Demon. So we are going to search for that. And then this is the correct listing. So then I'm going to click that. So now the cool thing about the map rank tracker is that we can track you or your competitors ranking on the map. And it is done by a credit system. So with this plan that I'm on, the available credits are 1,850 and those credits change depending on what plan you're on. So what we're going to do is we are going to check this business's ranking for certain keywords, depending on the map location. So obviously this can be super valuable if you get lots of clients coming into your business from the map. So for keywords here, it automatically put auto dent removal service, which is good, but I'm going to put paintless dent repair also, because that's kind of his big thing. And we also have, let me see, comma makes it happen. Uh, we're also going to put paintless dent removal and that's good for now. And then we'll go ahead and click show settings for map grid. And this is the map grid for the location of the shop, but you can move this grid around to other places. Again, that's the really useful thing about this tool. So you can see where your business ranks when people are searching for certain keywords in different locations. And then you can go ahead and set the schedule if you want this report to run regularly and then click the create campaign button. And now the data is being gathered. The campaign is being set up. And now here we go. We have all of his information and we can check it with the different keywords. So this is auto dent removal service and he's won almost everywhere and then paintless dent removal. He's ranked even better. Like look at that good number. This is not a surprise because the business is very good. Um, they do very well for their dent repair and they're very popular. So he's ranked number one for paintless dent removal. And for paintless dent repair, he's also number one almost everywhere. So it's great to see how he ranks next to all his competitors. And if somebody did go over him with any keyword, he could figure out how to get that number one spot back. So lots of valuable information here. And as a reminder, I know I brought this up already, but you can look up anyone in this map rank tracker. So it's great if you want to see how your competitors are doing for certain keywords. Finally, let's head on over to review management on the left side over here. Now this is where you can monitor your ratings and reviews for not just your Google business profile, but from dozens of other review websites, including Facebook and Yelp and TripAdvisor again, and you can manage all of them in one place. Now, again, I have no actual location. So your dashboard is going to look 
more fun and impressive and informative than mine, but this is where you can keep track of your review progress and your average star rating. This is where you can see if you have any negative reviews and deal with them. And you can also set up email alerts that alert you to any negative reviews once a day. This is also where you can set up the AI auto replies to the reviews that we saw earlier. So you can actually reply to your Google business profile reviews with AI automatically, which is great because that way you're making sure that no review is left unanswered and Google loves that. And of course, it's also great for customer engagement. And you can set this up to auto reply for positive reviews or negative reviews or both. You'll also be able to review and edit replies after they're posted so you don't ever have to worry about AI posting something dumb or wrong and you're not being able to fix it. You can also pop over here to review analytics. And from here, you can actually check on your competitors and how their reviews are doing and compare them for yours and get a bunch of data about how you can improve or how you're just better than everyone else. And to get that report, you just put in your competitor's name and address and then click the create report button. And that's it. Now you know all about SEMrush Local and if it's a good fit for you. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check my description to download your free nine step roadmap to DIY your first website. It will walk you through everything you need to do from start to finish to get your website live. Check the link in my description to download it for free. Thank you so much for watching.